Hey there, ADB024, Aaron here in uh, southern Russia in the Black Sea, Sochi. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you could please do so. But what I want to show you guys is the uh, public transportation here. And I guess when I say public, it's a little different than uh, you'd think of in America because it's all private here. Every single bus is privately owned, uh, either by a company or a private individual. And uh, you then get your, your bus route, and that's what the route you perform, and you make your uh, daily wage that way, and you uh, maintain your vehicle yourself, so that way the uh, taxpayer isn't getting sucked into something like public transportation, and let me tell you, it works great, and uh, it's all done uh, privately, and then uh, taxed, it's even taxed, so it creates tax revenue, doesn't take away, so I'll try to show you guys here a little bit of it. There it is guys, all these buses here are privately owned and they're doing their doing their work. Check it out, that's a privately owned bus and it's making its money transporting people around. And then not only that, it's uh, making money uh, advertising, it's selling the advertisement on the side of the bus. So, And of course then its profits are being taxed and you have to get a special licensing to uh, get the type of driver's license to operate one of these buses. But uh, it's a win-win situation for everyone. So guys, check it out. I'm here at a bus stop, and if you uh, see these small little vans, small little buses that are all privately owned, and they all have their own little routes, and they're going everywhere, and the question is, are they effective, though? Are the people getting where they need to go? Let me tell you, it's a lot better. There's no schedule here. Every time we needed to get on a bus, we just came down to the bus stop, and you get on a bus, and you go where you needed to go because every single bus has its own little route and you just look, uh, it'll be posted of where it's going and you get on the bus you need to know, and there's so many of them because it's, it's, it's private, you know, anyone could jump in. I feel like I could get a job doing it by a little bus and get my route and have, make money. Now when I talk about the, uh, the uh, effectiveness of these uh, small buses, they're, they're definitely more effective because these are, you know, private owners and so without people they're not making any money. So these guys, if you're a good customer, I mean, they'll, they'll drop you off right at your driveway. And they're going out into the uh, small, small, the outskirts of town. Oh, it's, it's a guy. I think it's a So I just wanted to give you guys a chance to uh, look at inside of one of the vans. In this van here you can see 18 passengers. So, and then there's standing room. And there's uh, rails on the uh, roof and all that. Here's a look around how it's uh, situated. And I think uh, this particular van even has air conditioning and, again, privately owned, private little company. And they're even selling advertisement. Inside the vehicle, so uh, they're making money all the way around. Uh, right now we're at a terminal, we're just waiting for, uh, it's pretty late at night, so we're waiting for some other passengers so he gets uh, his money out of the deal, makes some money pays for the gas, you know. And I think this particular vehicle is a, uh, a Ford, a Ford van, so uh, way to go Ford. Uh, I think that's, uh, Ford is more diverse, uh, obviously, than General Motors and uh, Chrysler. I think that's why Ford has done better off than them, and uh, Russia, Russia likes Ford. They bought a lot of, uh, a lot of Ford trucks and uh, vans here in Russia, and little cars, and you see Ford dealerships, so 
That's a cool thing.